Hello, I am Dr. Aguila Swami from Chennai. I am going to show you a case of left rhinitis caseosa ST2 left maxillary sinus. You can see the axial images on the left maxillary sinus involvement and nasal cavity and there is haziness of ethmoids and left spinoid. But uh, actually perioperately the tissue was all involving nasal cavity and uh, left maxillary sinus. Rhinitis caseosa is a condition where it is a caseous uh, GC material filling the nasal cavity sometimes into the sinuses and it is very very false smelling. These are the actual images. You can see the multiple air pockets within the maxillary sinus and the nasal cavity. That's very typical, multiple air pockets. That means there is active infection. This is a 85 year old female patient. I did sur the surgery in East Africa. See multiple air pockets. This is a soft tissue window, axial cuts. Even though the ethmoids have been on casey, they are not involved with the disease. Now, the patient taken under local anesthesia. I have in packed the nasal cavity or infiltrated. Once putting the suction, you can see the pouring pus like material. It's like a melted butter. Very, very foul smelling. That is very typical of rhinitis cases. If it is fungal, it will not be foul smelling. This is a 85 year old female patient. And it is GC cases material are suckable. This patient had a long term nose block symptom. That's the only symptom nose block. And very prolonged foul smelling nasal discharge. Can appreciate the CC cases material being sucked out. This is a non previously operated patient, no history of previous any nasal or sinus surgeries, uh, but you can see a very wide middle metal understomy because of the pressure and created by the cases material uh, in involving the nasal cavity and the left maxillary sinus. So, first step is I am sucking out all the GC cases false smelling material. Appreciate the field quality. Uh, please watch these videos on large TV monitors or large screens or laptops. Do not watch on mobile. If you are mobile, you pair it with a big TV screen. Then only you can appreciate the field quality. Very melted butter like CC cases material from the maxillary sinus. Patient is very cooperative to suck. Already a moderate sedation has been given. Remember, the patient is a 84 year old female patient. It's a very minimally edited video. The whole surgery was around. Uh, 13 minutes and it was edited to around 10 minutes. All these inflamed tissues will settle down over a period. That's an ancinate which is inflamed, but you could appreciate a very wide middle metal endostomy. This surgery was done in East Africa by me. I am packing the nasal cavity with a roller pack soaked in 4% lignocaine with adrenaline in the ratio of 1 is to 1 like in all patients. We don't change the adrenaline ratio even though it is a 85 year old patient or cardiac patient because the adrenaline from the pack will not get absorbed. So, so I use 10 ml of adrenaline and 10 ml of 4% lignocaine for pack even in an 84 year old patient or even cardiac patient also. Pack and wait for some time then remove the pack. Repeatedly you can do the packing. So I will have the anti -fog. One more pack. Now I am giving the spina pattern block because I want to remove the ancinate and do a little ethmoidectomy to see whether the, there is a really a disease in the ethmoid, but it's a predominantly a disease of nose. 
that's why it is called rhinitis caseosa sometimes it extends into the sinus in this case it has extended only to the left maxillary sinus that's the spina bifida block has been given with a 23 gauge spiral needle with a solution of 0.5% ropivacaine and adrenaline in the ratio of 1 is to 50000 more secretions are sucked from the maxillary sinus Quite being cleared. Now I am taking the very flimsy, soft-looking edematous ansnate with the debrider or the shaver. Again, appreciate the field quality being done under local anesthesia. Very aged patient, hardly any drop of bleeding, looking like a cadaveric field. You see, I haven't done an MMA because still the because of the void middle metal understemy by naturally created by the rhinitis caseosa, I could see half of the maxillary sinus. With a zero degree telescope itself, some posterior margin of the MMA is being trimmed. Now I am trying to do an anti-ethmoidectomy to see any disease. Patient is very cooperative under local anesthesia and hardly any bleeding. That's a field quality. You get it in local anesthesia mostly, mostly. And with a good packing, there's of course some minimal bleeding is there. Again, appreciate the field quality. Shaver micro debrider is a very must in all the sinus surgeries. So I couldn't see any pathology in the ethmoids. Only the edema and the collection of fluid because of the disease in the nasal cavity. Later I will be showing the spinoid where there is also spinoid addresses where there is no disease. Now I have shipped into the 70 degree telescope to visualize completely the maxillary sinus. There are some secretions which I am sucking out but there is no cheesy material all are being sucked out already. Do not strip the mucosa. Mucosa is very important. Uh, the mucociliary function will remove the little bit sticking secretions or the discharge or the pus. Uh, no need to wash the sinus cavity. Of course, it is difficult under local anesthesia. Now, again, I have shifted to the zero degree telescope. Hardly any bleeding. You can uh, again appreciate the field quality. Now, I will have a final look at the spina ethmoidal recess. Any widening of the spinal recess or uh, spinal ostia or any material there or not. Hardly any disease. So, I, I in this case, I will not be unnecessarily opening the spinal sinus because the spinal ostia is not opened. If there is a disease, it will be opened, it is not opened. I don't pack the nasal cavity in all my nose and sinus surgeries and discharge the patient on the same day as daycare patient. See the quality of field after the surgery and I patient is very cooperative and we start nasal loose from the second post of the day onwards. Thank you for watching. See you in another beautiful video. You can contact me at this following address anytime. Thank you. Bye bye.